Good morning, you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about a bug out bag, an emergency uh, pack, and the basics of what to keep in that pack to always have at the ready for in case of an emergency. What I'm going to mention in this video is just the basics. There's much more that you can have in a pack. Everybody's needs are different. Everyone's desires of what to carry is different. What I'm going to mention in this video is what I keep at the ready in a bug out bag in case of an emergency. Number one, the most important thing to have in your, your pack is cutting tools. Whether it be an axe, a hatchet, a saw, a good survival knife. Make sure all these are very sharp. Know how to use these tools. Practice with them on a regular basis and always know how to handle that which you carry. Cordage. It's very important to have different types of cordage, like 550 paracord, bank line, different types of rope, different types of string. Even fine string sometimes can, can help a lot. Fire starter is just as important as cutting tools. My two favorite carries is a Bic lighter, and a ferrule rod. In my opinion, I don't think anything tops it. I will be doing a video about different fire starters and why I carry what I carry. It's always good to make sure that you've got something that's reliable to get a fire going. Nail clippers and tweezers are an absolute must carry in any bug out bag. You want to be able to take care of your nails. You, you want to be able to remove a tick if necessary and tweezers are what you're going to need. So no, nail clippers and tweezers are vitally important. A good flashlight with a rechargeable battery like an 18650. You want to have a good strong flashlight at least a thousand lumens with different settings for a while out in the woods at night. A compact small but very good first aid kit that has all the essentials of what you're going to need should you be injured in the outdoors. Make sure that you have a good adequate first aid kit. Very, very important. A small survival fishing kit. Make sure you don't skimp on this. This also is very important for food. Make sure that you've got quality materials, good line, good lures, a good kit. Put together a very good kit. Reading glasses. If you're like me and you don't see very well and you use bifocals, it's a good idea to have an extra set of uh, reading glasses or glasses in general in your bug out bag. I recommend carrying two pair in case one were to break. I would not be without a couple pair of, of glasses. Gorilla tape. Better than duct tape. Very handy. Multiple uses. And it's also a really good fire starter. It's flammable and it burns for some time. Don't be without Gorilla Tape. Also, zip ties in various sizes, small all the way up to large and extra large, can come in very handy. Lots of uses for zip ties. Survival cookware and utensils, small pots and pans, a small cup, a spork, different things like that. So cookware and utensils are vitally important. Also in your pack, you should have medicine regular pain medicine, um, medicine for if you become allergic to something, say you get into poison ivy, you want something to remedy that. Make sure that you have a good med medical kit made up as well. A good quality tarp. A good tarp can keep you out of the elements, it can keep you dry, it can give you protection as you sleep. It's vitally important to have a very good quality tarp. This is something you should not skimp on. Make sure you've got something that's well made, heavy duty, not too heavy to carry, but durable for the use in the outdoors. Also a means of navigation. You should have a compass or a GPS or both. Not only carry them, but know how to use them should you be in an area that you're unfamiliar with. Also a compact small solar charger that is capable with the charger to charge your 18650 for your flashlight and any other electronics you may be carrying you're going to need a means to charge them off the grid so a solar charger is also very important 
the right kind of outdoor clothing. Make sure that you have good clothing in your pack. Durable pants, durable socks, wool socks in a cold climate. Make sure you have different socks and undergarments to change if need be. And have an extra set in case one gets wet. A good heavy duty rain jacket for the outdoors is another thing that's very important. You can become wet even in the summertime and get hypothermia, so you want to make sure that you've got a jacket that will keep you dry and it's breathable. Footwear is extremely important. You want to make sure you have good footwear that will keep your feet warm, dry, and comfortable. So good quality footwear is also very, very important. There's many types of uh, different protection you can use out there for self-protection. Um, I myself uh, don't carry firearms, but you can carry bear spray, you can carry mace, a good knife, things like that, different types of weapons. But uh, bear spray is also comes in handy not only for bears, but for other wild animals that become a nuisance, like a coyote or a wild dog. Bear spray is very important. Water containers and a means to filter water in the outdoors. Make sure you have a good water container that's durable and that will last a very long time and a very good quality filter with extra filters. Snare wire, just as important as a fishing kit. Make sure that you've got good quality snare wire in your pack so you can trap small game and prepare it for food. A toiletry kit. This is something that's very important as well, to have dental floss, toothpaste, a toothbrush, soap, different things like that. Being in the outdoors and getting very dirty and not able to wash up and clean yourself can, can really take a toll on a person's mental ability in the outdoors. Make sure you've got a means to keep your hygiene up in the outdoors and keep yourself clean. Very important. A survival outdoor sewing kit so you can do repairs. This is what also the Gorilla Tape works good for is repairing tarps, tents, and the like. Many, many different uses, but make sure you have an outdoor survival sewing kit that has everything in it that you, that you would need. Emergency meals. Emergency meals are a good thing to have in your pack and make sure you have enough to get you through a certain amount of time. A two-way radio. Two-way radio so you can contact the outside world or listen to what's going on if possible. Or to even to communicate with another person. Two-way radios are very important and carry extra batteries. Preferably rechargeable batteries that you can recharge with the solar system. And finally, it can get very lonely in the woods. Make sure you have some reading material. It always helps to have some good reading material. And if you find your pack is too small and not efficient to carry all the things that you're going to need in a survival situation, you can always obtain a U-Haul truck to haul all your crap to the woods. Because no matter how much you bring, it's never enough. And you're always going to find that you need something that you don't have. No matter what you bring, it's never going to be enough. I hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching. This is just the basics. But I hope it helps somebody out there that is looking to build their own survival bug out bag. There's lots more you can add to this. But like I say, it's personal preference and what you yourself believe you're going to need and want in the outdoors during a survival situation. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.